What is good, everybody? Hope all is well. I wanted to share this message. Um, I was watching this video um, with this basketball player named Andre Drummond. For those who don't know who Andre Drummond is, he is an NBA basketball player. He played for the likes of the Brooklyn Nets, the Detroit Pistons, and various of different teams. At one point, at the height of his career, he made over $100 million or about $100 million. But now, there's this video that I saw, which prompted me to make this video, where he's speaking to what I'm going to assume is future young athletes um, that are coming up. And he's talking about attitudes. And he talks about how, at one point, he was making $100 million. He had a $100 million contract to now he's making the league minimal because of his poor attitude. This is the video here. Um, please take a listen and watch. You know, I understand where you guys are and what's going on. I know a lot of this is new. Some of you guys are coming from respected teams where you're the man, you're that guy on your team, and, you know, you play 100 minutes, you score 1,000 points, X, Y, and Z. This is not what this is, fellas. And the sooner you guys realize it is the better. But to be pouting on the bench, making faces, not cheering your teammates on when we're down eight the entire game, come back and go up by three, and you're not celebrating that, I'm going to tell you something. Fellas, I was that guy. I was a $100 million guy. I was pouting. I was upset when I wasn't playing. And I had a bad attitude. I went from $100 million to a league minimum. And it's a personal story I'm sharing with you guys right now. They don't care how many rebounds you get, how many threes you make. They care about you being as a person. Are you a good teammate? Are you a good locker room guy? Are you someone they can count on each and every night? I talked about consistency. You play 100% every single time you step on that floor. Consistency, fellas. Consistency. So I wanted to share this video because so many of us struggle with our attitudes. A lot of us struggle with the lack of gratitude that the moment that we're given a position, the moment that we are placed in a position where we've been waiting for all our life, that we worked hard for, that God puts us in a room to be in, our attitude can destroy that opportunity. Our attitude will be our downfall because of pride, because of ego, because of jealousy, because of envy, because of what? There's filth in our heart. This actually reminds me of Saul. Because when I, watch, I was watching this video, I was thinking of Saul. And for those who don't know who Saul is, Saul was the first king of Israel. See, back then in the Old Testament, Israel was begging for a king. They had no king. They just had judges, Gideon, Samson, so forth. And so they're begging for a king. So Samuel at the time was, he was a judge at that time. He was a judge of Israel. He's the one that God would speak to. And Samuel would speak to the people of Israel. So the people of Israel were going into Samuel and say, Samuel, we need a king. We need a king. We need a king. But God was supposed to be their king. God was looking like, I'm supposed to be their king. Samuel goes to God and he presents this case to God. It's like, hey, they're asking for a king. God said, okay. He grants them their wish. Saul becomes the appointed king. The first king at the age of 30. At the age of 30, Saul becomes the king of Israel. And he actually reigned for 42 years. Imagine being the first person to rule a nation, to be the king of a nation. God selects you, not the people of Israel. They asked for it, but God selected Saul. But what does Saul do? Saul ruins his legacy as a king. Why? Because of his pride. Why? Because of his attitude. Why? Because of his lack of gratitude. Why? Because of his disobedience. So see, even when God can select you for something, you can ruin it because you stop listening to God. You allow your own flesh to be a dictator. You allow your own flesh to be a ruler. You allow your own emotions to become your downfall. And you can lose out on something that God has given you. See, Saul was, he was a handsome man. He was, they say he was very tall, good looking guy. 
So it's out of appearance and from what it looks like, he's the first king. He's a good looking man. His out of appearance looked amazing. And some would look at it like, man, I want to be like Saul. Look the way he looks. But his inside was very ugly. Even to the point that his own armor bearer, David, who later becomes king after Saul, he becomes very jealous of his armor bearer. He becomes very jealous of David, which becomes the final straw of his legacy, like of his legacy. Saul ends up killing himself at the end. Becomes a used disgrace to Israel. Don't be like Saul. Don't be given an opportunity that God has given you, but because of your attitude, the lack of gratitude becomes your downfall. See, there are believers, not all, but there are some believers who they're believers, they'll praise God, but their attitude has stopped them from receiving the gifts that God has for them. Praise that they've been praying for, opportunities that they've been waiting for has not come to pass as of yet because of why? Your attitude. Sometimes you need to change your attitude. I know the more I've been grateful, the more I've been humble, the more I see my prayers been answered, the more I've received. And I know so many people like that. Don't be like Saul. Remove the hate, the jealousy, the poor attitude out of your heart and start living through the beautiful gift of the Holy Spirit. I just wanted to share this message because I felt that this, that video spoke volumes, spoke volumes. Hope you have a blessed day. And as always, one love.